So where are we going today? I'm not gonna show you everything, but here's a small hint. That's all you get. Justin, my guy, hey. you know why I'm here. <laughs> Three. Awesome. There you go, my man. Thank you. There's too many people in there. The new love of my life. This calls for some celebration, Bernie's. You know you're in Alberta when you get support for drifting. If you're a true OG, before I even had an OG, then you'll know where we are right now. I swear I'll explain at some point. It, I just haven't gone to it yet. It's, it's coming at some point. Happy Black Friday to myself and Merry Christmas and probably every other holiday because now I'm broke. I ended up getting a pretty good deal on a few items. I actually have a full setup and one very impatient dog. But now that I have the box, let's just open this guy. Damn. Okay, this is literally the setup I've been waiting to build for like months. And I'm not even kidding, like actual months. I've been planning this out, looking for all of this stuff just to make this happen. This is literally the ultimate setup. I don't even like know what I just got myself into. I got some filters, some screen protectors, SD card, and the best charger on the market, as well as another Sony battery. Everyone says that the best batteries to go for are the Sony ones as they last way longer. My recommendation is to definitely go and get some. When I on Black Friday went and picked up this camera, my battery, extra battery I should say, only cost $3. Dude, I'm kind of nervous. Like. There's been so much build up in my life to this moment. So it comes with a pretty nice little strap. Obviously got your charging cable, a viewfinder, and last but not least, my favorite part. Holy crap, man. <laughs> I can't believe this is actually happening. Like I'm actually holding one of these. I don't even know how to operate this thing. I'm just like fiddling with it. So this is gonna be what you guys look like from now on. I need to get some kind of grip for this so that way I can like hold it and still, you know, See you guys. Oh. oh. What? What? Dude. Look at this. Shit. Look at this. So there's a little flash. It's built into the camera. I've never seen that. I thought you had to buy an, a flash accessory. That's so cool. Dude, this is so freaking cool. Oh, okay, it has a power zoom on the kit lens. Dude, this is so cool. <gasps> I'm getting too hot, I need to breathe. So it is extremely light. Like, what can I compare this to? Okay, I would say that the camera is probably about one and a half or two PlayStation remotes. Oh, your SD card goes right next to the battery. Now, this seems to be the better one that you can get for the camera. So that way I could use this guy and never have to swap it over because I'll probably end up doing a little bit more potentially 4K once I get my new computer, if that happens within the next year. This is gonna come in handy. So this card will have me covered no matter what I do. Okay, now the second thing that we should probably get to is going to be the charger. Now this one is a Nightcore uh, USN1 charger. Now this one specifically is designed for the Sony batteries that are taken with the A6400. And this seems to be one of the nicer chargers that you can buy on the market. Uh, the only downside that I've been, oh, papers everywhere. The only downside that I've been able to find to this guy is the fact that it only has a built-in charging cable. You can see that's about how much you have. You could get an extension, which I potentially might do if I don't find that it is a long enough cable. 
now you can see all the different like settings and they're actually a nice clear kind of look rather than being like a nasty yellow or anything and you can see it tells you the quality of battery it shows you the voltage how the charge is the total charge the battery temperature so the cool thing is when you're using this guy when your batteries are fully charged it'll actually say end pretty basic also kind of a necessity if you're going to get a nice camera and you don't want it to get trashed screen protectors these are tempered glass if this gets hit it's gonna sh like shatter it's gonna crack it's gonna explode now you can see within me using it just over the last few seconds trying to not touch the screen i still somehow managed to get fingerprints all over it so this is pretty much as perfect as it gets like it fills all the way around and it looks really nice too, like you can hardly even tell that there's a extra display. So the next thing that I got, now you don't need to get this, but I do recommend it if you're doing stuff like I will be, a B and W filter. This is actually going to be a UV rated filter, so that way it's actually clear. Now you might be asking why I would get something like that, and I will explain to you that I will potentially be using a grinder wheel on metal and if shards end up hitting this lens then I'm going to be very upset because then I will damage the lens and need a new camera lens. And all I do is I screw this guy on. So now that I have this guy on it's going to be a perfect protection for the lens that way I should never have to replace this guy. And now the ultimate test is will this actually use the factory cover? Oh my god, <laughs> dude, that is perfect. I wasn't expecting it to actually use this. I thought I was gonna have to take this off if I ever wanted to use that cap as a you know protective cover. So that's gonna be our lens setup. Now, this is a 40.5 millimeter. When you get it in the packaging, this seems extremely small. I thought I got the wrong one and I was getting ready to send it back or you know if I had to buy another one, but it's actually perfect. So this is the setup, it's pretty sick, but I do actually happen to have two more items. It's just for me to install one of them, I actually need the other one. So I'm gonna probably leave the video here for now, and then when I get that item, I will basically resume the video from there. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, so we're finally back and I got my package. <laughs> So I actually needed this first guy to basically install my second part, which I'll be showing you once I get this guy on. This is the last package that I was waiting for. It definitely took long enough. This is a small rig cold shoe adapter plate that's actually going to relocate this cold shoe over to the side here so that way I can actually install stuff on it without it getting in the way of the display. So if you have this guy and you go to mount anything, on top of the camera, right where the cold shoe is, you'll see clearly that whatever you put is going to be right here, right in the way of that display, which you know makes the display completely useless. So what you can do is uh, Small Rig provides a lot of relocators for this cold shoe, so that way you can have it on the side or on top or the other side, and they make essentially like full cages, so you can mount just tons of hardware all over these things. But being that I don't really need a full cage or anything like that. I just want to relocate my cold shoe so that way I can use the last attachment that I got for this camera setup. This guy is absolutely tiny, <laughs> holy crap. So yeah, it's just like a really nice kind of like little mounting bracket. It's nothing like too big or anything like that. But So I'm going to tuck this guy away so I can actually put on the cold shoe adapter. And this guy just slides in, however... We actually have this piece right here, so I need to figure out how that's going to come off. So that looks pretty sick. Now, I suppose this is the last piece that I got, and it is the Rogue Video Micro. Now, I've done a lot of research as far as listening to other audio samples out of different like microphones on the internet, and this is my personal favorite. I found it to have deeper tones than a lot of the other microphones and even the Rode microphones that are more expensive watching comparison videos with like very raw audio clips 
this was still to me the best sounding I really like the look of these cables also and the way that they're actually wound up so that way they don't like dangle very far they stay fairly tight and you can see that it's actually like not at all in the way of the display what do you guys think it's definitely getting there but no you can still use it pretty pretty good and I mean like you don't always have to use the dead cat either if you kind of like brush it all forward it actually like sucks in the hair so you can see like you can use the display quite nicely now so guys this is the new setup I can't believe that this has finally happened it's been probably about a year in the making that I've been just researching these parts and trying to figure out what camera I wanted out of the Sony brand so far I'm very psyched to like have the opportunity to actually work with this guy and have this in my possession and this is gonna be a huge tool as far as like my video making and stuff like that goes so that's the setup guys do you guys have any tips uh, pointers as to new Sony guys let me know down in the comments below anyways thank you guys for watching feel free to check out the channel and let me know what you think of some of my videos I'd appreciate the feedback I'll catch you guys in the next one <laughs> that scared the crap out. Come here. Come here. Come here. Kaya. Oh, <laughs> she won't even come see me. Kaya, come here. Come here, puppy. Oh, were you scared?